Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem basing on one dimensional body, particularly a freely falling body under the acceleration due to gravity. First, let's have a look at the problem. The problem is like this. There are drops of water falling at regular intervals of time from the roof of a building and that building roof is at a height of 20 meters from the ground. So, there is a ground. Assume this is the ground. This is the roof of the building. The total height is given for us in the problem that from the ground, the roof of the building is at a height of say 20 meters. It is given for us in the problem that this roof is at a height of 20 meter. Then it is further given that the first drop strikes the floor when the sixth drop begins to fall from the roof. That means drops are falling at regular intervals of time. This is the first drop that is started from here and reached this place already, reached the ground. Then there is somewhere in the journey second drop somewhere in the journey there is third drop there is fourth drop somewhere in the journey there is somewhere fifth drop in the journey and it is said that the sixth drop just begin to fall from the roof where the roof is at a height of 20 meters we assume that acceleration due to gravity is given as 10 meter per second square for simplicity of solving the mathematics. See, let us come to the first drop it up, first drop it all, first of all, for the first drop. It is very clear that it has covered the entire distance of 20 meters from roof to the ground. I would like to use a formula s equal to ut plus half a t square distance that it is covering is 20 drop starting from the state of rest half a is g and it is square so 20 equal to half g is 10 and t square 20 into 240 40 by 10 is t square that is 4 that implies Time taken by the first drop to reach the ground is 2 seconds. In that 2 seconds, all this is happening. So many drops have started from the journey. That means, and they are happening at regular intervals of the time. So if this total time of the journey from here to here is 2 seconds, that is divided into how many intervals you can see. There is an interval here. This is the first interval. This is the second interval, this is the third interval, this is the fourth interval and this is the fifth interval. So the first drop has taken how many parts? Five parts. So the total time two seconds has to be divided into five intervals and each drop with the other drop having that much of the interval. Two seconds dividing into five intervals means each interval is 1 by 5th of the 2 seconds. I mean to say to cover from 6th drop to 5th drop. The 5th drop has taken a time of 1 by 5th of 2 seconds. Whereas the 4th drop to cover this distance, this is 1 1 by 5th. This is one more 1 by 5th. So the fourth drops is going to take a time of 1 by 5th plus 1 by 5th. 2 by 5th of the total time, 2 seconds. That's how the fourth drop is. And of course we need the position of the second drop. See, the third drop has to add one more interval that is 3 by 5th of 2 seconds. And the second drop, look at the second drop. How many intervals it has to cover? 
one here two here three here and four here so it has to cover four intervals of equal parts in the total time two seconds so second drop takes time four by fifth of total two seconds available it means to tell you that the second drop has fallen for a time of 4 by 5th of 2 seconds whereas the fourth drop has fallen for a time of 2 by 5th of 2 seconds let us start our journey start our problem with the fourth drop the fourth drop where is the fourth drop in the diagram this one has traveled for two equal intervals interval one here and interval one here right this is six to fifth this is fifth to fourth has traveled for two times of two by five times of because total is five parts total two seconds so that is going to take a time of four by five seconds so if the fourth drop has fallen for four by five seconds the distance that it has fallen the free fall distance is the distance that it has covered or the displacement that it has covered is i can write a formula s equal to half gt square because it's a freely falling body half g is 10 t is nothing but equal to 4 by 5 seconds all square so half 10 16 by 25 so <clears throat> this is going to have a distance this is the distance that is covered by this uh, body how much is this 2 is 8 times it's nothing but equal to 80 by 25 if you cancel with 5 5 once 5 5 16 5 6 30 so 16 5 is 80 by 5 that's nothing but equal to 3.2 seconds so it's very clear that the second drop if i have to draw the diagram again for the sake of convenience is here it has covered a distance of 3.2 seconds but if you look at the problem you want the height of that second drop as well as the fourth drop the heights of the fourth drop at that instant you don't want it from the sky not from the roof from the ground you want this is where the ground is we know that the total distance is 20 roof is at 20 so this height is total 20 minus 3.2 that's nothing but equal to 16.8 meters from the ground this is where the fourth drop is there similarly i need to solve the problem for the second drop we know that the second drop has taken for a time of the second drop time taken by the second drop for the second drop i am solving for the second drop we have already proved that that is 4 by 5 of 2 seconds that's nothing but equal to 8 by 5 seconds the h that it has fallen is half g 8 by 5 whole square that is half 10 64 by 25 two fives again five fives that's nothing but equal to 64 by 5 meters that is five ones five then there is 14 5 to 10 and then 4 is there so 12.8 meter this is again be careful from roof that implies from the ground 20 minus 12.8 that's nothing but equal to 7.2 meter this is where the position of uh, the fourth drop and second drop will be there from the ground 